Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to make this animation with using After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, first one, let's go to project and right mouse, import, import file. We have three scenes, select scene 1, 2 and 3, go to import as, choose composition return line sizes, click import. And let's create new composition, add name main, and full HD sizes, time duration, change 15, click OK. And let's open scene 1 and select all of them layers, let's copy, back to main and paste here. So chain duration and right now let's create new null object for fake camera movements and for move to anchor point center hold control double click pen behind icon click tool and change name camera so in this time let's select this element main and go to solo select pen behind move the anchor point down and click station tool and solo. So let's press P and let's create new person Q frame. Move to up and go to 10 Q frames. For shortcut, you can use hold shift, press page down in keyboard and let's move it down and go to three Q frames again. For go to frame by frame Q frames, use page down in keyboard one, two, three and move to up. Go to 3 two frames 1 to 3, select this middle two frame, copy paste, and make two frames easy. Let's preview animation. Okay, so we have problem with last three two frames. Let's select last three two frames, right mouse, two frame interpolation, and change current settings to linear. Click OK. Let's say again. Okay, it works. And select two frames, go to graph editor and let's zoom to graph. And select first two frame. I want to create failing animation like natural. And select first two frame, let's change graph like this. And select the second two frame, move to right. And let's see. Okay. Okay, that's more natural. So back to two frames and go to here select these flowers flower 2 1 3 and 4 let's link to element main select this element 2 also link to element and select element 1 link to element and select element 2 let's zoom in here and go to anchor point move it down click tool and move to here let's press r open rotation change rotation like this and go to here let's create new rotation two frame and go to next two frame chain rotation zero or change four and go to next two frame change minus three or change minus seven and go to next two frame change zero and make two frames easy let's preview Okay, select two frames. Let's move to right a little bit for randomly two frames. Nice. And select two frames. Hold Alt and chain duration. Okay, very nice. And select this layer, element one, and move the anchor point here. Click section two and move to like this. Let's move the anchor point to left and press R. Let's create new rotation two frame, chain rotation like this. Go to three two frames, one to three, chain rotation minus six, gain three two frames, change six, again three two frames, change zero, and make two frames easy. Let's see. Okay, so select two frames, hold Alt, move to left, and select two frames again, move to left. All these two frames. Let's see. Let's move to left. 
Okay, nice. So, select these flowers and go to first second, press R and create new rotation two frames. And let's go to last seconds. Let's select this floor one, change three. Let's see. Okay, and this change minus two. And this four. And flower four, change minus three. Let's see. Okay, that's good. So go to first second and close all these settings and select this element main link to camera and select element main and let's press u hold shape press r and chain rotation minus eight and let's move that a little bit create new rotation keyframe and go to here change four again next keyframe change minus two and next few frame change zero. Make few frames easy. Let's see. Okay, so select rotation two frames, hold alt, move to right. Nice. I like it. And go to first second, select the shadow, and let's press S, change scale zero. Make scale two frame and go to here, change scale one hundred. Make two frames easy. Let's see. Okay, and go to graph editor. Select this first two frame. Change graph like failing. Nice. Back to two frames, and let's select this shadow. Link to camera null object. Select sun, sand, sea, and sky. Also link to camera. And select clouds and cloud 2 link to camera select camera let's see after failing animation press p let's see timing okay create new passing two frame and go to here and move to left select two frames make easy go to graph editor select graph make smooth animation okay let's see Okay, back to two frames, select last two frame of the left for more speed animation. So, in this time, let's open scene 2 and select these all layers. Let's copy back to main and go to here. Let's paste. So, let's move to right and link to camera layer. Select these all pyramid layers and move to right. Okay, not bad. And chain duration. Let's move to left for attach layers. So, in this time, select these clouds and delete. Also, select this sky and delete. And let's go to first second. Select this sky and go to FS presses, search effect tile. And select CC repertile. Let's use for sky. And go to here. Let's try change expand to right. Okay, not bad. Let's change, expand more. So, in this time, select this sky and right mouse. Let's pre compass, add name sky. And select this move all effects inside to compensation. Click OK. Nice. Right now, we can't see here any lines. Select this layer pyramids. And let's move to right. So let's select this sand one and change scale a little bit. 
Let's see. Okay, pretty good. And select this layer C. Also change scale and send change scale. Okay, select this C layer and chain like this. So in this time, select this camera and let's press P and go to last second and move to the left like this. And let's use CC Repetile for P1 and change expand right and use CC Repetile for P2 change expand right also. Okay, and select this send one. Let's Control D for duplicate and let's move to here. Okay, let's see. Nice, very good. And select Send to Control D and move to right duplicate layer here. So in this time, select these layer clouds and let's use effect wiggle. Select wiggle position. Let's use for layer cloud one and change intensity wiggle 25, let's see. Okay, and use position wiggle for layer cloud two. Also change wiggle amount 25. And select these clouds, let's move to up here. Let's see. Okay, and let's select these clouds, press P, and let's create new person Q frames. Go to here and move to like this. And select few frames, make easies. Let's see timing. Go to graph editor, select this graph, make smooth animation. Back to few frames, select last few frames, move to right and go to graph editor, select these graphs, make smooth animation. So in this time, let's back to project, select the scene 3. Let's drag and drop into the composition and move to here and move to right composition. Let's press P and move to right and create new passing Q frame. Go to here and move to like this and select work area. Let's zoom in here and let's go to three Q frames. 1 to 3, move to up, go to 3 two frames, 1 to 3, move to down for step animation again, go to 3 two frames, 1 to 3, move to up again, 3 two frames, move to down again, move to up and again, move to down and again, move to up. Let's see. Okay, so 3 two frames, let's hold Alt, move to right for more slow animation. Okay, and let's open composition. So in this time, select this hand layer, link to body, select back, link to also body, and select eye layer, link to head layer, select head layer, link to body, and map layer, link to hand layer. So in this time, select these eyes, and let's zoom in here, press S, and let's create new scale two frame, and go to three two frames, one to three, change scale five, Again, go to switch frames 1 to 3, change 100% and make two frames easy. So let's select this Q frame, copy and paste for more eye blink animation. Let's see. Okay, pretty good. So in this time, let's see timing back to main. And right now we can create character hand animations. Go to scene 3. And select this hand. Let's move the anchor point here. Clization tool and press R. Make rotation two frame. Go to 10 two frames and chain rotation like this. And go to here. Select this head layer and move the anchor point down. Press R. Let's write chain rotation. Okay, let's move to here. And clization tool. Let's create new rotation two frame, go to 10 two frames, chain rotation like this and make two frames easy and select both two frames and let's see, select work area 
Ok, so let's add bounce animation for more realistic. Select head layer, hold shift, press P and create new bounce in keyframe. Go to middle and move it down. Let's see. Ok, go to next keyframe, select first keyframe, copy path. And make keyframes easy. Let's see. Ok, that's good. And go to here. Let's create new rotation keyframe. Go to 10 keyframes and chain rotation minus 3. And go to back and create new hand keyframe. Go to next keyframe, chain rotation 0. And select keyframes, move to right. Let's see. Ok, that's good. And select these hand keyframes, move to right. Ok, so select hand keyframes, go to graph editor and make keyframes graph. Like this is easy. Back to keyframes and select these three passing keyframes, copy and paste here for dynamic head keyframe. So, go to here and again let's create new rotation keyframe, go to 10 keyframes, chain rotation like this, or change like this, and back to here, create new hand keyframe, go to 10 keyframes, chain rotation, little bit to down. Ok, let's move to left, select head, head keyframes, move to right. And finally, let's create new rotation keyframe, go to 10 keyframes, chain rotation like this. And select keyframes, move to right. Go to here, let's create new hand keyframes, go to 10 keyframes, change to down. Let's see. Nice. And select these three passing keyframes, copy and paste here and paste last one here nice so select body and move the anchor point down and go to here let's press r create new rotation keyframe go to 10 keyframe chain rotation 3 or change 6 and go to here, let's create new rotation keyframe, go 10 keyframes, change minus 3. Again, let's create new rotation keyframe, go 10 keyframes, change minus 5. And go to last keyframes and create new rotation, go to 10 keyframes, change 0. Or let's change 3. And make keyframes easy. And go to here, let's add bounce animation for dynamic keyframes. Select body, hold shape, press P and create new passing keyframe. Go to middle and move it down. Go to next keyframe, select first keyframe, copy pass, make keyframes easy. Let's see. Nice. Select keyframes, copy and go to here, paste and here, paste and here. So there are more keyframes, so much more realistic character. Nice, I like it. And let's back to main. Let's see here. Select work area. 9 seconds. Press N and select first 3 seconds. Okay, that's good. But in this time, I want to add here blur. Let's go to first second. Go to layer, new and adjustment layer. And effect presses, search effect Gaussian blur. Select Gaussian blur. Let's use for adjustment layer and change blurness like this and move to behind of scene 3 and press T, change opacity 0 and let's timing. Right now we can create opacity frame and go to here, change 100%. Let's see. Okay, let's preview again. So guys, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck.